So what I'm hearing you say, Mr. Ensign, is that you think you had rights to piss all over your little brother's choices in his life insurance policy based on your illegal calls and activity towards people that he chose on his own accord to inherit his wealth. At this time, you might have been a inheritor a long time ago before he had a significant other or spouse or even a son on the scene, but today those people have gone off in their way to their own heaven's gate. Their own heaven's gate is that they have the right to choose whether or not they want to stay connected, but here's the problem. A law enforcement officer interfered, or so you allege, with his right to contact his late spouse and significant other and to contact his Japanese son, which makes it awfully difficult for any insurance policy that was actually written to their name to be provided to them should something happen in your brother's demise. So when he made the choice to change who he wanted to give his financial wealth to, this paltry amount of money that you call it, that is actually his right to give and to provide, you stole his journal. You took away his right to contact his life insurance policies. You lied to yourself about getting your rights to, to get in to his storage locker. You stole company information from his intellectual property drives, which was never once in this world your right to get on and do anything with, even if in the past you were allowed to touch his computers and try to fix them, but at this time you have no relationship and at no time did he authorize you to enter his storage locker with anyone who might have a key from commandeering it all and take it anywhere across the state line, making it a federal issue and all. And the bottom line is, just because you might possibly be a blood elephant relative to that person that you're calling your little sibling, what I can tell you is your rudeness is enough to put your hand in a string. Because your stupidity of life was that you're going to teach that young man who's in his 50s some morality lesson about his life and about his body and you convince through your manipulative ways a whole bunch of people to put their entire professions on the line in every way but your attitude is don't worry they'll continue to lie to protect themselves they will until a thorough investigator goes in and puts them in a slingshot out of their life because they're that stupid about lying most of the time and when they lie most people get caught but what you're trying to imply is that your brother for years has lied to himself about himself and we just don't see that. As a psychology team that has looked things over, as a psychology team that really has reviews things, the bottom line is none of us had the right to his life. So you've put every single one of us in our jobs and our careers and our professions in jeopardy. And you're allowing these fucking panhandlers that are living around his community to piss all over him with private information like little old Larry wanted to shove all this shit he heard through gossip from Cammy and her husband, whatever the fuck his name is, Marco Mix, who knows, into his face. And here's what we think about law enforcement officers there, that they are so fucking immoral that they would just play with someone's body because they felt like it, which means your brother's going to be sucked on, fucked on, and raped, and you're just sitting there going, that's okay with me. I don't mind standing in front of Jesus Christ when I die having to explain the fact that I got my brother raped.